Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you that how to generate a PDF document inside your browser using the JSPDF library. So just go to your editor and create this index.html file. So this is Visual Studio Code text editor. So here you need to write the basic uh, template. So you can just give it a title that uh, PDF document in HTML5 and JavaScript and now you can include the CDN of JSPDF by just typing on Google JSPDF CDN and make a script tag and inside the source paste this link so now we will write the custom JavaScript code here so inside the body we can give it a heading that is HTML to PDF using JSPDF and there will be a button simple we will give it an ID of button and this will be convert to PDF and now inside this we will first of all make a new document by using the JSPDF constructor and then we can add some text to our PDF file by the method of text here so in this we can just write hello world and then the second argument is the x and the y coordinates so we can give here 40 comma 40 and lastly we can save this document by using the save method so you can just give it a file name output dot PDF. So if you right click open with live server and one more thing I need to bind this so now it will if I open it it will generate this PDF file as I load the application you will see output.pdf so if I open this PDF file you will see this hello world is printed out so now I can just make this little more interactive so here I can <coughs> bind a on click event handler so when we click this button we need to execute the function which is pdf document and now we can just make this function function pdf document So when we click this button, we need to execute it. So now you will see if I reload the application, it will not create the PDF file. And when I click it, then only it will execute this function and create this file. So now you can see that only static text is printed out. I can make this little more attractive by adding an input field of type text. So here we can give it an ID, let's suppose text and placeholder text, it should be required for the validation. And now we can remove this on click from here and now we can also remove this. and first of all get the button element by document dot get element by id so now we can bind the on click property so this will be a function arrow function so we can bind this code inside this and also we can get the text as well which is written inside the input field so we have given an id to it of text so we can get the value by dot value so now we can pass this value instead of hello world we can pass text 
like this. So now you will see we will have an input field here I can write anything and then click on convert to PDF. Now it will create this PDF file if I open this. So it should let me just alert this. So you should move this line inside this button on click. So if I open this, you will see the text is printed out whatever we write here. You can even change the file name also according to your choice. So we can have another input field of type text and this time we can give it a id of file name so here the placeholder will be file name and this should also be required so now we can create a second variable of file name so document dot get element by id so here you can give the id extract the value and inside the save function we can replace this value instead of passing the static value we can replace file name so now you will see you will have two input fields first of all we will have the text and then if i click convert to pdf it should tell me that uh, please fill out this field oh sorry this is not a form so it that is why it was So we should also fill it. Let's suppose I fill it as file name dot PDF convert to PDF. So you will see that this name will be changed to file name dot PDF. So in this case, you can generate a simple PDF file inside your browser using JS PDF.